Standing up in front of a crowd of people when you're all alone and you know you're supposed to make them laugh can be a trying experience. Peter's talking to a guy who tried it and liked it, and so does his audience. The man I'm talking to, Freddie Roman, tried it a long, long time ago in the Catskills, right? That's where I got started, yeah. And you decided you liked it, but then you had to leave the funny man business to go make some money. Yeah, I started, uh, then I, I met my wife. We got married, had two children. I couldn't make a living at show business, so uh, I went into the shoe business with my dad. There's not much difference in show One business letter. and shoe business. One yeah, letter. Ed and, Sullivan uh, could never tell the difference. Exactly. Spent seven years in the shoe business, decided I wanted to go back into show business. Went back to the Catskill Mountains to a wonderful hotel called Homowack Lodge in Spring Glen, New York. And for the last 20 some odd years, started up there and now worked Vegas, Atlantic City and all right. that. And go back to the Catskills, to the great resorts that are left up there. And you've toured the country with some real big names. You've yeah. toured with Cher, with Tom Jones, with a lot of people. All the, all the, all those nice people. Sunrise Theater with Tom a couple of times, yeah. and Shirley Bassey, and uh, the Diplomat with Ben Vereen the last couple of times he was there. Yeah. So uh, I get around a lot in the business, and this is my first film. Sweet Lorraine. Now, yep. this is about a hotel in the Catskills. Any resemblance to the hotels that you played in the Catskills? Oh, absolutely. It's. Uh, it's an interesting story because the producer, director, and partial screenwriter, Steve Gomer, worked in this hotel when he was a kid and uh, married the owner's daughter. And all these years that he's been in film now, uh, had in the back of his mind that he'd like to do a story about a hotel in the mountains, about this particular hotel. And we did the movie at the hotel. It stars oh, Maureen... at the very same hotel where right. he... Right. It oh, was wow. the Hayden Hotel in South Fallsburg and uh, for the purposes of the film became the Lorraine. And uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful story. It's, uh, anyone that's ever been to the mountains will identify with it completely. Anyone that's heard about the mountains uh, and has never seen it, this is a great opportunity. Because it's about a little hotel that didn't get bigger while the other ones around it, like Browns and the Concord and Cutchers and Grossingers, all became worldwide names. This hotel didn't make it. And the owner, Maureen Stapleton, who is magnificent, she's really oh, one of yeah. the great actresses of our time, uh, she's coming to the realization now that she didn't get bigger, she didn't get better, and she's going to have to maybe get rid of it. And her granddaughter, who was played by a lovely young actress named Trini Alvarado, she's magnificent, uh, she comes to the hotel for the first time in many, many years, falls in love with the hotel and a young man at the hotel. And uh, <clears throat> This is pretty much the, the producer's story then, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And two great love stories. A love story between uh, Maureen and, and uh, Lee Richardson, an older love story, a young love story. The kids that work in the dining room, which, uh, as I mentioned to you before, 40 oh, right. and 50% of every uh, doctor, lawyer, accountant, professional guy in the New York area uh, made their money for college by working in these hotels in the Catskills. And these young kids that are portraying the waiters, busboys, bellhops, are fun, it's laughter, it's, it's pathos, it's, it's just a delightful package. Talking to some of the people that go to the Catskills on a regular basis, some of them really like those little hotels still. They don't want to go to the big place. They right. want to go to the little place off in the corner and get away from it. And there are less and less of them now. There, yeah. are, there are very few of the smaller places left. Uh, the Catskills has become uh, the gigantic super resort with the golf courses, the nightclubs. Yeah. Uh, on any given Saturday night in the summer, you'll have... Uh, uh, Bob Hope at Browns, you'll have uh, uh, Stephen Eady at another hotel. Yeah. They use the biggest names in the business. There are very few of those little places left. And uh, this is a charming, charming picture for that reason. It shows the people what the mountains was like in a smaller situation. And I played the social director of the hotel, which was my roots. I started that way, so yeah. it was really fun for me to go back to it. Do you still go back to the Catskills to play periodically, or are you pretty much on the road and in Vegas? Oh, I do the road, I do Vegas, but I'm in, I'm in the mountains quite a bit. I'll be, uh, I'll be up there the entire uh, uh, Easter Passover holiday week, playing in a different resort every night. Sure. And uh, I go back on the major holidays, the Memorial Days, yeah. the summertime a couple yeah. of weeks. And whenever I can fit it in, because my home is still an hour away from there. And then I have to get this in just because it's such a kick to talk to somebody who has a home down here. This fellow, Freddie, lives in Boynton. Yeah, I have a wonderful place yeah. up in Boynton Beach that three golf courses. <laughs> and I can't play well on any one of them yet, but I'm going to keep trying. Well, you got to take some lessons from Arnie or something. Yeah. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Jill.